thank you everybody for showing up today to this amazing lip balm, which is a celebration of Marilyn Monroe, uh, whose birthday, which, which birthday was it? Um, must have been something like 80th birthday. Would that be right? Uh, just she, would have, she would have been in her 90s. I see. Um, I want to be loved by you poems on Marilyn Monroe, in which we are featuring, hopefully, other people will show up as well. David Lehman, Lynn Andrews, Angela Dribben, Heidi Seaborn, Sebastian Matthews, Robert Anthony Gibbons, C.A. Conrad, David Philip, George Guida, Karen Neuberg, Anne Sefola, Joel Allegretti, Baron Wormser, Marilyn Robertson, Nick Makoa, Mervyn Taylor, and Susan Erickson, with our guest MCs, Margot Stever and Susanna Case. Wow. <laughs> Uh, thank you, uh, Margo and uh, Susanna. Um, I want to say you're the hardest working anthology editors on the planet, but uh, Joel Allegretti's in the room, so I don't, <laughs> don't know if I can say that. All three of you <laughs> deserve that title. Um, this poem is based on um, uh, an inn in Connecticut where Monroe used to stay uh, when she visited Miller. It's called Clawfoot Tub, Room 22 Confesses. Homestead Inn, New Milford, Connecticut, where Monroe stayed on visits to Miller. Yes, I knew her. On my white porcelain lip, those hot coral nails, immaculate. Veuve Clicquot uncorked, erupting over walls. Oh, sorry, tile. Cat eye drawn, mirror precise, and below the counter's lineup of lip stain. Ruby Tuesday, Revlon. Diabolique, Guerlain, platinum pearls lost like globes amid iridescent bubbles in my embrace. Beside my claw feet, hand towels so she could keep Joyce's Ulysses safe. Untold guests later, crooning, who cares, raucous, loud, she's back. I pour another steamy retreat. She slides in, overflow from eyes, glides off cheek, plink, plink. Love, I insist, it isn't the only thing that matters. In wee hours, quiet turn of quiet turn of key tumbler pin, my weepy confidant never seen again. Time swirls down drain and buoyant refills when lanky, bespectacled, tan, he enters in, smokes on edge of toilet seat, squints to recall scent at blanched nape. Chanel number five, I radiate. Tamps out his Dunhill and sink, orange ember burns. Souls poorly soldered, but cast iron. I alone held her and asked nothing in return. Thank you. 